Anderson Cooper landed the first ever public interview since the whole Clippers controversy with disgraced Clippers owner, owner Donald Sterling. Now, Donald Sterling in the interview made it pretty clear. I want to quote it because I, you got to love, you got to love a race when they say I'm a good person because that solves all the problems, right? But here's what he says. I, when you're talking about the NBA, I'm a good member who made a mistake. I'm apologizing and I'm asking for forgiveness. It sounds like Paula Dean, doesn't it? He goes on to say, I'm entitled to one mistake. And I, after 35 years, I mean, I love my league. I love my partners. I'm entitled to one mistake. It's a terrible mistake and I'll never do it again. But does that suffice to say that he's changed his opinions? Does it suffice to say that he still doesn't feel the same way he feels about blacks and African Americans and Latinos for that matter? Of course it doesn't, because later on in the interview, he tells you that he really hasn't changed his feelings. So if he, further on in the interview, obviously he blames his ex-girlfriend, but then he goes in on Magic Johnson and he says, well, if I don't take back, pretty much says, I don't take back anything to say, anything, anything I said about Magic, because I think all that stuff is true. So I want you to forgive me for being a racist, but I'm still going to be racist towards Magic Johnson, and I hope you can accept that racism, I guess. No, I, I just don't understand. Like, our, I think racism is a clear, uh, there, there's a clear black and white line. Either you are a racist or you are not a racist. And clearly, Don Sterling is a racist right next to Calvin Bundy, uh, right next to the KKK, you know, racist. Now, there are people who are prejudiced, who walk a tightrope, and to the, like those people, you know, they have a little bit more room to wiggle. Like, you know, your Michelle Bachmans and your Paul Ryans who say prejudiced things, but they aren't necessarily racist people, which I guess we're like, well, that doesn't make any sense. No, they're prejudiced. They don't necessarily, don't like dealing with black people, they don't like engaging with them, or they think sad, they think poorly of them, but they're not necessarily a straight up, downright, I hate blacks, I guess in public, that's very true. I guess in public, they're not these characters, but in private, they could necessarily be, I don't know, I'm not in their homes with them. But clearly from Donald Sterling, we know in private that he's a downright racist, uh, and it's rather sad. Um, he wants his team back, he probably won't, that probably won't happen. His wife is vying to get control of the, his wife is vying to get control of the team. And she's sort of playing her own PR game here. We'll see how the story unfolds. But either way, America, this one is going to be a salacious one.